大家好，欢迎来我的频道。Apologies for not posting on my usual Sunday schedule、uh, this week, and for not posting a Chinese language learning update the last one or two weeks. I think <laughs>、um, I've been busy in the process of applying to neuroscience PhD programs, and、um, the way that the process usually works is you have to do a lot of front head work, preparing applications. Writing your personal statements, etc., getting letter of recommendation writers and such,、um, but you can space it out <laughs> over the course of a couple of weeks, a couple of months,、um, and then you submit it depending on your program around the holidays time. But I'm in the stage where I am prepping for interviews, which means I have a two or three day turnaround time. From when I receive the professors that I will be interviewing with at my institutions, as well as trying to figure out what their research is because it doesn't necessarily align with my current research. So what does that mean? It means I didn't have as much time or mental capacity to actually study Chinese as much as I would have hoped to, which means I didn't get a lot done. <laughs> Which I, it's okay, it's okay. There's periods where we can study more, and periods where we have to study less because of environmental circumstances.、Um, but all that is to say, I have not been studying a lot over the last couple of weeks because I've had interviews.、Um, I've had to figure out what my professors that are interviewing me are doing. Attend very long、um, informational sessions,、um, usually multi-day. Informational sessions and just meeting greets with people, with students,、um, with other professors and such, while also still working. <laughs> I'm working on、um, some really cool stuff at work and trying to prep for、um, writing a manuscript there too. So that's also been taking up a little bit of my time.、Um, but all of this to say is that I did get into a neuroscience PhD program, so that's really awesome. I'm going to be a neuroscientist in the future, so I'm very excited about that. And maybe I'll introduce some content about my journey as a neuroscience PhD student.、Um, I won't say where I got into yet because I still have a couple of programs that I'm interviewing for and waiting to hear back from.、Um, so don't want to make any <laughs> any、uh, rash decisions about my school of choice currently. Um, but that's really exciting. I'm very excited about that, and I'm excited to start back into my Chinese studies again. <laughs> It felt like there was like a little bit of a hole because I I just I wanted to, but I just couldn't. I my brain just was not working.、Um, but this is actually something that I'll be talking about over the course of the next three videos that I'll be posting.、Um, it's more of like a.、Um, Mental refresh when we learn languages,、um, especially trying to understand, dissect, and hopefully circumvent some of the psychological struggles that we may sometimes face、um, when learning a language.、Um, the inability to take rest when we need to sometimes because we feel this this need to just keep pushing and pushing and pushing, especially when people that we look up to on YouTube or other friends are progressing, but we seem like we're not. I know that for me, I oftentimes compare myself to Matt versus Japan's journey,、um, just because it it was so amazing how quickly and how. Um, or how quickly he got to such a high level, and I definitely did want to emulate that too. And from his videos, he did the same thing with cats when he was doing AJAT.、Um, so definitely something to keep in mind:、um, learning how to rest,、um, learning how to be kind to yourself when you're learning a language, and recognizing that it's a long journey that requires periods of pushing harder, periods of hustling, while also periods of slowing down.、Um, Energy maintenance and stuff like that. So look out for those videos that will be coming up in the next three weeks, and then after that, I'll be also introducing some more cultural things, which is really cool.、Um, culture is also a part of learning languages. So hopefully, with the help of my Chinese friends, because I am not Chinese, <laughs> I'm not an authority on Chinese culture, they'll be able to help me introduce some really cool aspects of Chinese culture to you guys. 
sneak peek one of them is going to be about the Gong Fu Cha or Chinese tea ceremony got a really cute set from Etsy um, and I want to promote the creator who sold them to me because she's just really great so I'll show that in that video also be cooking some Chinese food I am terrible at cooking though so we'll see how that works um, but that will also be pretty fun um, and I will still be releasing the HSK5 deck soon even though I don't really want to keep going through the HSK5 um, challenge that I did for myself. I'm like really enjoying going through native content and I just purchased, what was it, like 20 books. I spent too much money purchasing too many books. Um, but I'll be starting to work through native books as well. And hopefully you guys can join me. Um, I'll post a brief monthly schedule every single month from here on out. Um, starting from today, I guess I need to post something today or tomorrow <laughs> for the month of March, but slowly going through a book um, and really learning how to enjoy reading while also giving enough time and space to learn what's on the page, to make cards for um, the books. And I can release those cards for each specific book too if you would like to join me um, with reading these books. The books that I got are really cute too. So I'll, um, whenever I go through a book, I'll send links on where I purchased them, um, what book they were, and some of them will have audiobooks, some of them will not, unfortunately, but they're really cute. A lot of them have like little pictures, um, and it's just very high quality books. So I'm very excited to start that journey. Um, but yeah, I'll still be releasing HSK5. I'm finishing up the, the deck soon, so it may take a couple of weeks. Um, just because I'm still finishing up my <laughs> PhD process, uh, PhD application process, um, and just finishing some stuff off from work. But um, yeah, other than that, I think that's all the updates I have. Um, I will see you guys on Sunday, and I hope you have a great rest of your days. Um, be kind to yourself, uh, allow yourself to take breaks, and don't fret over not accomplishing what you originally intended to do. It's okay. Any type of learning that you do, regardless of it's, if it's according to your dictated schedule or not, will um, benefit you in the long run. So yeah, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Have a good one. Stay tuned.